<laughs> I'm like, uh. hi, hi everybody, hi. This is Monica and Lindy from Huckleberry Mountain Botanical School of Herbalism. Um, I think we're a little delayed on YouTube. I'm hoping that it's coming through okay. I can check on that. All right. We look choppy, oh, but I, we're we're smooth over here on Facebook, so that's nice. Are we choppy? We're good. We'll just keep going and hope for the best. All right. But we're, we're not choppy on Facebook. We're going to keep going and hope for the best. And yeah, if it's too choppy on YouTube and you're a member of uh, Facebook, jump over there and go to our page and like it. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. I'm so glad to know that you're home and everybody's safe and you were able to enjoy um, your, uh, what was it? Uh, Halloween. Yeah. You know, Halloween, yes. I'm just going to share a, a personal high season, a personal frustration that just happened like, what, an hour and a half an ago? An hour and a half ago, yeah. <sighs> okay. So, my 50th birthday is in December. Mm-hmm. In Yay! September. Like, send emojis. Yeah. Send like heart emojis so that the screen fills up with love. <laughs> okay. Like this little button. So in the okay. meantime, while you're doing that, I'm going to tell you what happened. Hi, Shamra. Um, I made a reservation to rent a home, a four-bedroom place just outside of Portland, um, so I can celebrate with my kids and my sisters and my nieces and nephews and my great-niece even. And this is um, an Airbnb. Yeah, Airbnb. So, I mean, it was beautiful. It was a four bedroom, you know, nice, enough beds for for us. And then um, if anyone wanted to stay over, you know, whatever. We had enough space for everyone. Literally, the guy wrote me an hour and a half ago and said, oh, I'm so sorry, I sold the house. He put it on the market, sold it, and accepted the offer. Like, we no longer have, and it's like, Okay, I made a reservation three months in advance, and now we're four weeks out from when we actually go. My birthday's not till December 19th, but we're celebrating the weekend, weekend of the 6th, mm -hmm. and here we are four weeks out, and now he's telling me we have no house. <laughs> yeah. I'm really frustrated, and you know, it's not, if it weren't for the fact that we've got quite a few people coming, it wouldn't have been a big deal. But we have a lot, of, you know. We I've got a big family party happening on people Sunday. People are coming from Seattle. Yeah, people are coming from Seattle, from um, more south in Oregon. We're coming all the way from Idaho, obviously. Austin, we're all traveling like, from Idaho. Yeah, yeah, it's we're like, all congregating. In come Idaho. on. Oh, I just needed to share that it, because it was. You can all be frustrated with me, and then put out good vibes that I can find another house that has enough space to accommodate our party. I mean, this yes. is important to me. We've got lots of comments here. Okay, so. Oh, okay. So Susan says, hi, Heather says, we're so happy to be home. Sharma says, no way, you can't be 50. I am. I know. Not yet. Right? I'm still 49. Um, <laughs> Sharma says, oh, so sad. I and know. Susan says, ouch. I know. Come on. It, it's anyway. Yeah. It's terrible. Because we've been, we've been planning this, like, I think... Since I, September. I started thinking... Maybe of, August. I started thinking about this back in July. July. Like, I created a whole... Facebook group for everybody back in July. Yeah. And anyway, whatever. Yeah. I just have to believe that the best if we're gonna the, that whatever house we end up in is gonna be better and more and more appropriate for what we're trying to do. I really yes. did, I didn't I wanted a family like just get together and just hang out and and yeah. And that's, that's what we're gonna get. We're still gonna do that. Hi Julia. All right. Hi Julia. We are gonna be doing the drawing tonight for October. Um, we have everyone's names in our bowl here. Mm -hmm. Yes, Shamra, you did have the most, but there was a couple of close runner-ups. So, yes. runners-up? Is runners. it runners-up? I think it's runners-up. Runners-up. Runner-ups? No, runners-up. Runners up. Runners up. Yeah, runners-up. All right, so, and I'm putting you all in the drawing for November, those who've commented. Yeah. If you didn't comment, well, sorry. Yeah. And if you share, you get put in again. So feel free to do that. All right, I'm, I'm playing with the hose that goes with my hydrosol. Um, this is actually a still. And I think you can make, make like alcohol and stuff in it. I haven't done that. I'm not that motivated to turn wine into hard liquor. But I have made a lot of hydrosols in this. And what are hydrosols? Hydrosols are the byproduct of essential oil making. 
they not only um, contain some of the essential oil within the water, but also the water soluble parts of the plant. So it is not the same as taking distilled water and dropping essential oils into the water and calling that a hydrosol. That's not a hydrosol. And honestly, those little tiny essential oils are, are going are to glob up mm -hmm. and separate from and the will, water. It will not be diluted. Right, whereas in a hydrosol here, we have the water soluble parts of the plant as well as the essential oils that have evaporated up and then condensed down. So I'm gonna show you this because I just made the lemon hydrosol today that we're gonna be using to make yes. our, what is it, anti-flu spray, spray cleaner. cleaner. Yeah, and it smells so good. Mm, it smells so good. So I, these are fresh lemon peels and you probably can't see them in there. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go too far. Okay, oh, wait, I think I can tip it like that. Here, I can bring it closer then. Okay, just make sure not to spill the water. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. Anyway, I don't hey. think you can see it, but hey. I peeled a bunch of fresh lemons and put the lemon peel in there. Remember, mm. it has citronelle and has a lot of, of course, different really essential like. oils and that really aromatic smell. Plus, lemon is very antiseptic and it smells mm -hmm. wonderful. Yes. Um, so I put that in there with water. And of course, you want to wash the lemons. Yes, wash and, it and, and, and get organic. Yeah, organic. You, anytime you're making hydrosols, yes. please work, work with organic material. Yes. Hi, yes, Andrea. The beauty, hi, Andrea. The beauty of having the hydrosols versus essential oils, well, gosh, you guys, there's so many, but um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the essential oils for a brief moment because I don't want to go off on, on this subject right now. But essential oils use a lot, a lot mm -hmm. of plant material. A lot. And you get very little. And you get very, very little, little actual essential oils. So it's not a very sustainable practice. Mm. Um, secondly, essential oils really need to be broken down and put into carrier oils so that you're not putting a lot on. Essential oils should not be taken internally. And that's a practice that I know a lot of people have been doing and it's become very popular. But if you go through actual really good essential oil or aromatherapy um, courses, that's something that you will learn. These are not intended for internal consumption. Um, whereas uh, hydrosols are. It's safe. It's totally, it's a totally different product. Yes. There, yes, there's a tiny bit of essential oils in here, but also that water soluble um, product. So you're getting more of the entire whole plant. Yes. It's like a picture of the whole plant that you're getting in these hydrosols. And they're safe. For kids, right? Safe for children. Yeah. yeah, you can, you know, if uh, one of my, one of my, but I, I don't like to call her a customer because she's not really, I don't sell stuff. I honestly don't. She contacted me and said, could I get some of, you know, chamomile hydrosol because I really need it for my teething baby. And I made her up a batch and sold it to her. But I don't normally sell, I, we don't make products. Right. Sell it. But it's safe for babies and essential yes. oils are not safe no. for babies. No. And the hydrosol is great because it's, um, it's a very clean because you've put it through a still and it's like distilled then. And it's really nice to use in lotions because it won't go bad as much or as quickly as things like um, infusions and decoctions. When you wanna get that, use the water that is flavored or has medicinal properties in it. So I make a hydrosol and we use that to make our lotions. And it doesn't matter what you use, you can use rose. Anything that has essential oils, that's barks, leaves, flowers. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, I used peels of a citrus, uh, of, you know, of citrus, things like that. Yes. Serena asks, did you add essential oils in with the lemon peels? No. No. No, the lemon peels have, have essential their oils own essential oils in them. Yes. They have aromatics in them. Okay. So let's think about it. When we cut it, all that, not the bottom, but that, you know, that comes up and you can smell it. When you touch the uh, peel of an orange or a lemon and you really rub it a lot, you'll get oil. And, and that's um, the essential oil. That's the essential oils. It's yes. on your fingers. Hi, Kim. So I just peeled the lemon. I peeled, what, probably 12? Yes. 12, and they were fairly small lemons. These were not big lemons. Mm -hmm. But peeled um, about 12, threw all those peels in here, added the water up to about this line right here, and then slowly brought it up to heat where it was beginning to steam. As it steams, it comes up into the onion here, 
and then moves its way in. This is called the condenser. And here you'll see all of these coils that are winding around. What you put in here is ice water. You put water and a bunch of ice and you keep just dropping the ice in to make sure this condenser stays cold. What happens then is the steam comes here, works its way down and, as, and it cools, as it cools, it turns back into liquid. Yes, it turns into back to water. Mm -hmm. And then you take this hose here, which is at the bottom of uh, this so coil, coil, and all of the essential oils then Here's can drip the into the jar. And I just keep this down on a, um, a bench or a step stool or anything like that. That's the appropriate height. Yes. This right here is the overflow for your water that you're putting in your condenser. Because you're having to add ice, you're so adding more ice. and more water's coming in, so it drips out safely into another bowl. Right here, that water just goes out. This is where you would normally, I'll get you in a second. <laughs> Hurry, I know you guys are talking. This is normally where you would get out the small amount of essential oils, and I have that plugged up so that that isn't even functional and everything just goes into my water. Okay, so the essential oils would normally drip down in there. So, but they, they just go into like the they ice just go, water? Nope, they're going right through into there. Into the hydrosol. Yeah, because there's another exit, right? Oh no, I guess well, that's something different. No, it's not connected. Well, normally inside it would be connected. This one isn't connected. This wasn't ever made to make essential oils, which is fine because I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for hydrosols. Yes. But what fun. I mean, I, I've even had to use dry um, dry flowers and stuff, and it's not something that I would rather do, but in the winter I tried it and it worked. I, I have done chamomile, dried flower petals, all of that, or rose petals, all of that has still worked in the hydrosol and come out, or in the still and come out with great hydrosol. Mm -hmm. So anyway, if you are interested in purchasing one of these, you can. Um, unfortunately, this one is no longer for sale. I love this one and they're not making it or selling it anymore. Yes. Okay. So first of all, hi Janine. Hi Janine. Second of all, Heather says that she uses rose and geranium hydrosol every day as a face mist. Yes. That's wonderful. Nice. And then Shamra asks, how much does one of those little stills cost? And then Serena says, I've never heard of hydrosols. This is exciting. It's exciting. It is exciting. You know, I, well, well, you probably I was also have a little low, so I, but I, hadn't really heard of hydrosols either. Well, it's because um, a lot of, okay, hydrosols have been around for a long, long time, but we haven't called them that as far as the commercial product goes. If you ever have things like rose water, rose water is a hydrosol. Witch hazel, is that a hydrosol, a witch hazel? Well. Or is that an extraction in alcohol? Yes, usually, okay. or, yeah, or in, um, and sometimes they'll do it that way. It, it depends on how they how they produce okay. it. But rose water is generally now. Unfortunately, um, as modern times have come in, they've started kind of adulterating the things like rose water. So it's not really a hydrosol anymore. It's not that byproduct. They're usually adding um, either Chemicals. artificial things and then the scent of rose which who right. knows where that comes exactly from. and it could come from essential oils and again that's just gonna blob up and you're not gonna get that good yes. mix in there because oil and water doesn't really mix yeah whereas this it's a totally different thing and it's wonderful as facial mist it's wonderful to use in toners it's wonderful to use in lotions I've used it um, I've made a bug spray with it by using tansy leaves and yarrow. Mm -hmm. um, that works well. It, it's, it smells good too. It does. It's amazing. I, making hydrosols is so amazing and it's fun and easy and you can do it without a still. This, these stills range, this one I think was around $250, um, but they, and they probably are about that and up. Um, for a decent still, I would recommend getting copper and getting ones that, you know, are a little more high quality. You don't want to have anything that has lead or anything like that in there. Mm -hmm. um, and what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, you can do it with a pot. I have in the past done it with a pot and, you know, I can, that's something I can talk about, but the hydrosol you get from that is lower quality. 
Um, it doesn't have as strong of a scent because you can't keep all that steam in like you can when you have a still. And so you are losing some of those, um, some of the aromatics out of the, the pot. And then the other thing is I don't think it, because it doesn't have a full on distiller and going down into your um, condensing pot that it's as pure. So that, that's just my opinion. And they, they seem to go bad a little faster and it didn't sense. have as strong of a scent. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, to but me. it can be done. And you totally can do that, that there's nothing wrong with that. And using it in this kind of um, instance would be perfect. You know, taking your lemon and, and doing the pot method. I did that, um, I shared that on the prepared homestead a, a few years ago, I, I, two or three years ago. I think I have a video on that. Maybe we can share it on on our yeah. we'll site have to all find using them. the pot. Yes. So, yes. Shamra, which by the way, Shamra, congratulations on finally getting a top fan badge. It took long enough. Oh, wow. Did she get it one? It took long enough. Yeah, see? Top fan. Congratulations. Anyway, she says, is it called a hydrosol? Or, yeah, hydrosol still? Does it have a specific name? Um, are, are you talking about like no. commercial things? or No, when I looked at... I actually found this on, uh, what's that little store called that everybody, Etsy. I found it on Etsy, but for a while they were selling it on Amazon, the same company I got it from. But if you go to Amazon and you just look for like a 1.5, I think I have, this is one and a half quart uh, still. And then it, it doesn't have to exclusively be for hydrosols. This one happened to be produced by people who actually did make hydrosols and they mm -hmm. used large stills and they had created ones for home. But um, you can use any, any at all, any kind of still, you're gonna get the same kind of product. Yeah. So, all right, just please know the difference between using distilled water and essential oils versus actually having a hydrosol. And if you know people who make essential oils and they just dump their <laughs> hydrosol, I mean, I got some great lavender hydrosol from someone who Horror. makes lavender essential oil commercially. Because this is, well, this is hydrosol. If you could smell, it looks like water, but it oh, smells. It, smell it, it made our whole entire house just smell fresh crazy. like lemon. It was wonderful. Like you can look at this. It, this is what most hydrosols look like. Totally clear, nothing. And then you smell it, or you taste it. Yeah. Should I taste it? If you want to. Mm. It's just lemon. Um, it's perfectly safe. And sometimes I'll make hydrosols. Like cinnamon hydrosol is my absolute favorite. And I'll make that and just put a little bit in my mm. water and <laughs> you're like, yeah, not I so good. I don't like that. It smells really good. It smells good. It doesn't taste bad, but imagine like the taste of lemon peel, like that kind of bitterness without the sourness. Yeah. But just in water. Yeah. Mm. All right. So anyway, now that I've been talking for a long time. For 21 <laughs> minutes. Oh, sorry. Okay, we'll, we'll get to the actual thing. Oh, I know, 17 minutes. This is not difficult to make. Again, I say this all the time, mm -hmm. a half a cup of white vinegar. This is not apple cider vinegar. This is not any other kind of vinegar. White vinegar is great for cleaning. Do not drink it. This is not good for consumption. Use other kinds, but it is wonderful for as a as an antiseptic and yeah. as a cleaner it really is but man who likes the smell of vinegar around your house not i so we're putting an equal amount unless of, you begin to associate it with cleanliness i guess but, but then other people than that, come over yeah. to your house and it's like Ooh. not crazy about vinegar oh kim says i love cinnamon hydrosol so yummy oh my gosh yeah i made that on our hydrosol making day with my live students and oh my gosh, it was like we were all just sitting around drinking, drinking it because it was really, really mm. sweet and tasted really good, unlike this lemon. Unlike so, this lemon. So, um, everybody, Kim Herbst, who is our creative director. Yes. We love her. We love Kim. Um, she posted a link to, I believe, what is that, a blog post, article, something? She posted a link to something on our website <laughs> that has Kim to do with hydrosols. Yes. Yeah, so, look for her comment and you can follow that link for more information. Now this is tea tree essential oil. Yes, I am putting a little bit of essential oil in here and this um, vinegar is gonna act as that carrier mm -hmm. for us. But tea tree, we're using 10 drops. I am not like anti-essential oil. What I am at is minimal use of essential oil. Because of how 
unsustainable it is yeah. when it's consumed in in large numbers. Like you can use it as a um, what's it called when you like an adjunct add something no oh to, I, I mean, you just like kind of add a little bit of things occasionally to something yeah which is what we do we'll add it occasionally to a salve yeah but most of the time we do infuse oils with the whole plant so right. it's like the principle is do things that are more sustainable do use the whole plant right things and then like you're that. also getting you know you're not you're not dividing the plant up according to its uses or what we think. And when we take something as a whole, we don't get as many side effects yeah. from it as you would if you're trying to break it off into its individual constituents. The plant works together and it works together within our bodies as well. Mm -hmm. um, so when we start separating, that's when we start suffering from side effects and from different things that um, could come along. Yes. It's not... That's not a norm. It's not a normal thing. You, yeah. know, you don't need to have that. And if you're using the whole plant, side effects are rare. So Kim says, "Is cinnamon hydrosol full thirty compliant?" Yes, <laughs> it is. It's cinnamon. Technically, it is. You know, I would have a, a, actually a really hard time um, drinking that, even though it's delicious because it's it, so sweet. Well, no, because it it um, does decrease blood sugar, and if we're already not having. Oh any you know so, carbs and high sugar and stuff it, can, right. it probably would bring my blood sugar too low because I already struggle with hypoglycemia so Interesting. I, I wouldn't do that cinnamon for me is great especially if I've had um, a sweet treat or something well it's fascinating that you can have something so so sweet and yet it brings your blood sugar down yeah it seems like it's so so sweet and it, it does taste really sweet it's yeah. weird so, okay, so you guys, this is, I'm going to pour just the tiniest bit out so that... I would just spray this thing into the air because it smells so good. It does smell good, but it is a great, mm. I, I just have one of these cheesy little bottles here, but it's eight ounces and it it's, works great on countertops, um, doorknobs, use it in your bathroom, toilet, what, whatever, just use it around the house and help keep things clean. <gasps> She almost got me in the eye. Sorry. She literally shot that okay. up. I don't even know what she's doing. I'll she's do out of control way. right now. Oh, there we go. It's a mist now. Okay. D just keep it away from my face, please. <laughs> okay. There we go. I, I think, Demonstration. Yes. Okay. I think that we are done with our Hi, live. Katie. And so we are going to quickly do our drawing here. Hi, Katie. I'll make sure to put all of Hi, your... Hi, Katie. Uh, names into the drawing, but we're doing the drawing now. Katie came just in time. All right, so let's stir it up and draw. I got one. Katie Woods. <gasps> it's Susan. No <laughs> way. It's Susan, you won she again. Won. Oh my gosh. Okay, I I feel bad, and I I think we are gonna draw another one. Okay, so Susan, you're still gonna get. She actually wasn't able to stay because she had a Bible study. But okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here's one more. Shamra. Shamra's another yes, winner. Yes. Funny. Oh this is my the first gosh. Time she's won something. Well, no, because she's won like you know herbal preparations and. Oh, she did last time. You yeah, did last time. Yeah. Once last time. Oh my gosh, that is um, so funny. On, on our firesider event, because on our long events we do d we multiple do drawings, drawings throughout, throughout the entire thing. Uh, but that's yeah. the that's the first time she's got her top fan badge, and now she won the drawing. All right, oh, all right. with Susan. So thank you all for participating. I'm making sure to put everybody's names into the yes. drawings for this next month. We're gonna start so. our November our November giveaway. Yes. So, all right, guys. Um, that is it for tonight. We will see you tomorrow. What are we making tomorrow, honey? Tomorrow is... We don't know. Um, tension headache tea. Tension headache tea. So we'll be making a tea blend. Yes. So Shema says, I win by knowing you guys. Aww, Shema. But it's nice to have my name called. <laughs> That's so nice. Thank you. And Julia said, have a decent night. You too. Decent? Decent. <laughs> I hope that you have an exceptional yeah, night. Yeah, we want you to have an exceptional night. <laughs> it's got my my night's got to be better than it was earlier with yes. the news that I got. And, and I'm honestly, just gonna these, move past. This this live helps. 
now that we have our technology functioning, it's nice. This is like it's like spending time with a friend. Yes. All right. Now that technology is functioning. Yes. And I'm not ripping my hair out. And I'm not sweating. Yeah. From the exactly. stress. Exactly. All right. And Andrea says love you. Love you too, Andy. All right. Well, we're going to get going and we will see you tomorrow at 6:30 Pacific if you are in my um in our Fundamentals of Holistic Herbalism course, I will be live on webinar tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock for half an hour just to talk about uh, session one. So jump into the course and click on the live and click on the um, webinar link and I'll be in there talking with you and um, doing just covering some information about session one. Okay. Oh, and also, don't wow. forget, sorry, <laughs> I just remembered, Preparations 104 just came out, and right now it's, it's, right now it's on a discount, sorry, I'm just going to focus on this one, <laughs> so uh, it's a discounted price, and that's going to end November 9th, Ninth, yeah. so if you're interested in Preparations 104 for a discounted price, go over and check it out, um, I'm sure that Kim can post a link. Link, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Okay. Until until tomorrow. Health and joy. Bye. Bye. Bye.